Well, hello everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you are blessed. Well, we're going to continue in our series called Overcoming Fear and Worry, or you might call it Overcoming the Giants of Fear and Worry in Our Life. For so many of us, there are things that we worry about. It seems so human. It seems so natural to worry about things that concern us. I, I think because I'm in the middle of this series, I've been absolutely heightened to this whole experience of fear and worry that so many people are going through in listening to, to uh, things people are saying, writing, conversations I've been having. Uh, fear and worry is so common, it's almost, you might say, human. And yet when we read the scriptures, when we read the scriptures, we, we get an entirely different understanding of how we're meant to approach the whole idea of fear and worry because we're called to live differently. When Jesus came into the earth, he declared that a new kingdom was taking place. He declared very clearly to us as we read right through the scriptures that we were made for God, that we're made to have a relationship with God, that, that, that we are a new creation in this new kingdom and we're called to live differently. And that our life, our life, our spiritual life is all about us becoming transformed and changed and walking differently and living differently and experiencing life differently. Well, in the book of Proverbs, there's a verse of scripture that I find very challenging. I find very challenging. And, and Proverbs, Proverbs is a book where there's these wise sayings, you might say. And, uh, but just because they're wise um, and just because they might be true, uh, I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't necessarily find it that easy to go ahead and do. In Proverbs chapter 3, it says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, rely not. In all your ways, be mindful of him and he will make straight your paths. Again, trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, rely not. In all your ways, be mindful of him and he will make straight your paths. In the, in, in the NRSV Bible, in their NRSV Bible, it says it, it, says it, a, little, it, says it a little differently. It's, it says this, and I thought I had the page open, but I closed it. And it says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. The, other, the, the New American Bible that I read before, it says, do not rely on your own intelligence. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. So, so for us as the people of God, what we're meant to live in a sense, we're meant to live in a different manner. We're meant to walk in a di with a different step. We're meant to see in a different way. We're meant to feel in a different way. And even though we're human and have these human functions and capacities within us, we're meant to you know, submit our lives to God such that when we declare God the Lord of our life, the center of our life, that God comes into our life and we become changed as the Holy Spirit enters into our life and we're able to live differently because the Holy Spirit comes and gives us power and insight as to how we're meant to live. And so if you're today struggling with, with financial troubles, it's understandable to be full of fear and worry. If you're wrestling with health issues for yourself or those you love, well, be, being full of fear and worry is completely in a sense natural. If you've got business issues or you've got family issues, you've got relational issues, you've got children that are arguing, marriages that are difficult, fear and worry are normal. And, 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 and yet how are we meant to live as Christian people? And this is a challenge that I've been challenged with in my own life, that as, I, as I've given my life over to God, allowing God to transform me and allowing myself to be changed, as I press more deeply into God. And it's a long-term journey. It's, a, it's, a, my, my, it's this journey of, of transformation and faith and walking more deeply in God. There was a priest by the name of Father Pat Turner who used to visit my family when I was younger, a very good and a very holy man. And one day he was outside and he was walking up and down and he was saying his evening prayers. And my dad stood at the window and he said to us boys, I've come from a family of five boys, he pointed to him and he said, now there's a man who's different. He said, there's a man who's different. There's a man who knows God. 
and, and he's not like us. He knows God. Now, for want of a better way, my, my dad was a pretty old school Catholic, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with old school Catholics, but my dad never thought that he could have a relationship with God like this priest had. But if you read the scriptures, you read the teaching of the church, we're all invited into an intimate, personal relationship with God, that we're invited into these lives of transformation and holiness. What's all of that got to do with fear and worry? It's that we are meant to transform our mind, our thinking, as we allow God to come into us, as we spend time with God in prayer, as we surrender our lives that little bit more, little bit more, little bit more throughout our whole life, that we begin to be different and changed and walk differently with God. We see it in the lives of the saints, a transformation in their lives as they surrender more deeply to God. And you and I are called into that transformation. And it has a direct impact about the things we worry about and the things that we're fearful about. And it says in this, again, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust means with everything I am, I trust you. My hopes, my dreams, my fears, my anxieties, my, my, my desires, I trust you. It, and then it says, in all, on your own intelligence, rely not. It, it's understandable to be fearful. It's understandable to worry. It's understandable to, to, to be concerned about things. But it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. In other words, trust God with your whole life. But on your own intelligence, rely not. So I'm facing these difficulties. I'm facing these concerns. I'm facing these circumstances. But I won't. But I won't. I won't. I won't, I won't panic because I'm trusting in God. In all your ways, be mindful of him. In all your ways, in every circumstance we face, good and not so good, in all your ways, be mindful that God is with you uh, and he'll make straight your paths. So in other words, it can sound airy-fairy, but the spiritual life of coming before God every day and saying to God, here's my life, I commit my life to you. And coming deeper into a relationship with God, how? Through prayer, through acknowledging God in all things, through repentance. What's repentance? Repentance is moving away from those things that take us away from God. And, and then fourthly, it's through this whole idea of reflection and thinking and allowing ourselves to be changed. To be changed. So... I want to just encourage you today, no matter what you're fe fearing, what, no matter what's troubling you, no whatever you're hoping for in life, trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your heart, in all your ways. Acknowledge Him. The NRSV says, be mindful of Him and He will give you, He will make your straight path, path straight. You know, that's the journey of surrender and being transformed. And, and Dad was right. That priest was an extraordinary man who walked up and down our driveway at home saying his prayers. He had surrendered his life to God and had given over his life, his future and all that he desired so that God would, 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 would have his way in him and he could trust him with his life. We're called to exactly the same, a life of trust in God. And so today, I would encourage you to take that verse of scripture, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Just go on the internet. If you don't have a Bible, just go download it. You'll find it. Put it on a card. And I often say it, I carry, I, I carry that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, rely not. In all your ways, be mindful of him and he will make straight your paths. I memorize that verse and I say it all the time. When my children have been in hospital and I've been frightened for them, trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own, in all your ways, acknowledge Him. When I've, oh, when I've faced financial struggles in the ministry, because we have, trust in the Lord with all your heart. In all your ways, be mindful of Him. And, and, and I've carried that card, I've written it out, and I just encourage you to do the same. And it's amazing how you begin to grow in trust and fear and worry diminish as you walk with God. Loving Father, I thank you today that you're with us. Allow us to experience you deeper and deeper and deeper. Come Lord God to us, Father, 
in the name of Jesus, and may we trust you with all our heart. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen.